I first grabbed this sign from Dollar Tree. This was in their summer section, but any kind of sign from Dollar Tree will work. Then I'm just using some Waverly chalk paints in the color plaster, and I'm just applying this right on top of the original design. This did end up taking two coats. You just wanna dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, and then allow that all to completely dry. Then just grab a ruler or yardstick. I am just lining the yardstick so it is at the top and the bottom where those slats are on the sign and just using some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and a very fine paintbrush. I'm just going all the way from the top to the bottom with that black chalk paint. And this almost creates a fenced look design. Then to give it a more weathered look, I am just using some Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. And I'm just doing a very light dry brush method. So just put a small amount of the brown chalk paint on your paintbrush. And then with just some very light strokes, just begin applying that chalk paint. I also just put a little bit of the paint on my fingers and just blend it where the slats are. Allow that all to completely dry. And then using a piece of burlap fabric, I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. You could get it in a yard. I just cut it down to size. I just folded it in half so that way it was a thicker consistency and it wasn't as see-through. And I just began hot gluing the sides so that way it creates almost like a little pouch. And once that was all complete, I did make a stencil off of my Cricut machine. It just says Fall Harvest. This is in the font called Pharmacy. So this is a very sticky permanent vinyl, which was perfect for this fabric because I didn't want the vinyl to come off on me while I was applying the chalk paint. So once that was applied, I just made sure that all the vinyl was sticking to the burlap fabric. And then using a sponge, I just began applying a very small amount of black chalk paint. And again, with very light pressure, I just began dabbing that chalk paint all inside of the opening of the stencil and then just peeled off that vinyl and just allow that chalk paint to completely dry and I think this came out so adorable. I then just placed the burlap on the bottom of the sign and then just using some hot glue along the sides and the bottom of the burlap. To hold that burlap into place and again I did not do the top of the burlap I want to create almost like a little pouch like and you want to have a little bit of a gap at the top so that way you could add in your florals later and it's not like a super tight fit so definitely make sure you have kind of a little bit of excess at the top look at how cute that is so now once that is complete you could just add in any floral or greenery or leaves that you have i mostly got my floral picks from dollar tree and walmart definitely got to add in some sunflowers and there you go guys i hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so so much and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day Thanks. Bye.